I am totally down with deep face. This is coming from MovieWeb. John Krasinski becomes Captain America in Avengers deep fake video. The still picture looks good, but there's video and it's actually really cool. I like this and um, I used to talk about this with my brother all the time. We're like, I'll bet they're going to have technology where you can have like a young Captain Kirk um, with William Shatner as Captain Kirk or like running around doing new adventures. And um, I don't know, we both like Star Trek a lot. I don't, I don't know why that's really fascinating to us as like that's the holy grail but it's definitely going to be coming soon uh and i will be on the lookout for it and i'll do a video about it when i see it we will see so this is coming from movie web john krasinski becomes captain america in avengers deep fake video the office star john krasinski makes a very convincing captain america in a new deep fake video imaging uh as an alternate mcu captain america deep fake all right and we'll play a little bit of the video um, John, okay, before we start, go ahead and definitely subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. That's a huge help to me. I appreciate you doing that. So John Krasinski came very close to portraying Steve Rogers and a new deep fake video imagines how the Jack Ryan star, he is good in Jack Ryan, would have appeared in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. When the patriotic superhero was introduced into the MCU in 2011's Captain America the Winter Soldier, Krasinski was in consideration for the role before it ultimately went to Chris Evans. When the train, well, the train is left the station, because obviously Chris Evans took the role, as far as casting Krasinski as Captain America, the Avengers deepfake video does provide an interesting glimpse as to what could have been. All right, so check this out. And why now? Why not before? You think Fury's hiding something? He's a spy. Captain, he's the spy. And Doctor? Even if Barton didn't tell good. Loki about the tower, it was still all over the news. The Stark Tower. That big, ugly... It's pretty good. I'm going to have a link to it so you can check it out yourself, too. Losing the role of Steve Rogers to Evans was understandable for Krasinski, who agrees that Marvel made the correct decision. Quote, so as soon as they said Chris Evans got the part, I was like, yeah, look at that guy. Are you kidding me? He is Captain America, Krasinski said last uh, this year when reflecting back on his near casting in the role. I just saw Chris a couple of weeks ago and we were still laughing about it. I said, I love that you retired in my role. Okay. Krasinski has still found plenty of success outside the MCU in the years since his Captain America audition. After finishing with his role as Jim Halpert in over 200 episodes of The Office, Krasinski would appear in a variety of movies before trying his talents behind the camera as well as a director. He famously directed the hit 2018 horror movie A Quiet Place, co-starring in the film along with his real-life wife, which must have been a lot of fun to do, Emily Blunt. A sequel is scheduled to release in 2021 with Krasinski back in the director's chair. He also executive produces and stars in the Amazon series Jack Ryan and created the feel-good web series Some Good News, which he sold for like a ton of money. Good for you, John Krasinski. Make money, everybody. That's what it's all about. There are rumors that Krasinski might appear in the MCU when the Fantastic Four are introduced in an upcoming movie. Word is the office stars in consideration to play Reed Richards, also known as Mr. Fantastic. But that could be a stretch. Oh, okay. It's, that's funny. You got to admit that. You got to laugh at that. It's Keep watching the video. It's not that bad. It's also rumored that Blunt is up for the role of Sue Storm. Now, that would be ridiculous as the Invisible Woman. They should not do a husband and wife team. Like her husband, Blunt came close to appearing in the MCU as well when she originally cast as Black Widow for Iron Man 2. Due to scheduling conflicts, she was forced to turn the role down, opening the door for Scarlett Johansson to become the MCU's Natasha Romanoff. A Fantastic Four movie could be a great way of finally bringing both of them into the MCU in major roles. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Still, there's no official word from Marvel. I mean, it's just that they shouldn't always appear as husband and wife. Like, in, like they shouldn't work together always. That's crazy. Still, there's no official word from Marvel as to when a new Fantastic Four movie will go into production. It's not currently listed in Marvel's slate of upcoming movies for the MCU's Phase 4, which kicks off with the Johansson-led Black Widow. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be sometime next year. They, def they delayed it. 
because of the huge health event. Still, it's also worth noting that the Fantastic Four could potentially make an appearance in any upcoming Marvel movie, with or without Krasinski. Given its use of the multiverse, Doctor Strange 2 will also provide plenty of possibilities. In any, ch in any case, chances are we'll be seeing Krasinski in the MCU in one way or another someday. The deep fake, fake video with Krasinski as Steve Rogers comes to us from Shamook on YouTube. So we're, we have a link to it right here in the article. You can check out the whole video. It is pretty cool. I am saying, I will say I am impressed. This was another article I also found that was pretty damn interesting. Uh, Marvel Studios wants John Krasinski for an alternate universe uh, Captain America. So there you go. Uh, is this tied to this somehow? Maybe. Could be. It's being rumored that Marvel Studios wants Krasinski to play an alternate universe version of Captain America in the MCU. Now, this rumor does come from We Got This Covered sources. All right. They do have some sketchy articles and We Got This Covered, but sometimes their stuff is right. They have, well, just as they said here, they have a ratty, rather spotty record when it comes to these sorts of scoops. However, however, they are claiming that their sources have told them that Marvel Studios wants John Krasinski to play an alternate universe version of Captain America. I mean, why not, right? Why the hell not? If this is true, it would mean Krasinski will finally get to play the role he was so close to getting all those years ago, back in 2011's, for 2011's Captain America movie. It was reportedly between him and Chris Evans for the role, uh, and Krasinski just missed out. Yes, that's true. We just covered that. However, if it were up to them, they would cast Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, which we talked about. And guess who his wife would be? Sue Storm. Uh, Emily Blunt. Well, we will see. Um, but wouldn't that be interesting? It would be interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think he'd make a good Captain America? Look at that pensive look and whatnot. I think he would be a good Reed Richards. Reed Richards is cool. He could be Reed Richards. Um, but tell me what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. That's a huge help to me. And also you can check out collegeofthedead.com. That's my work. Um, it's an ongoing zombie apocalypse series. You can get a copy of College of the Dead Graduation Day. Full color, 48 pages. Really well done. We're working on the third one right now. You can get the first one. You can get the second one. They ship out immediately. And the third one is going to be College of the Dead Spring Break. Also, you can sign up at epicmermaids.com. I appreciate you doing that. That signs you up to my free email list so I can send you an email when The Mermaids is released. It's coming out uh, very soon, October 2020. So you want to definitely be on that email list. And... Um, you'll get a chance to check out that book. It's like Game of Thrones with Mermaids. It's really well done. You will love it. All right, I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.